Jan Gates Show. You know, judging from all the Sonic games I have, and just the Sonic things I have in general, I begin to notice that there is a very small possibility that I could have something for the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. You know, it's just a possibility. Oh, and in case it wasn't a dead giveaway, we're going to be taking a look at a Sonic game today. But I decided this time to let Git decide which Sonic game we play. What are we playing today, Git? A Sonic game. Okay. Maybe you could be a little more specific? I don't know. Um, how about the fighting one? The fighting one? I don't... Oh, you must be talking about Sonic Battle. This game is pretty awesome. And pretty original, too. I haven't really seen anything else like it. No, I mean... no, no. I mean, the one that's in this collection. It's on here. I mean, I know there's uh, this is a collection of games that... I hate you so much right now, Git. Now let's sit back and watch this opening cutscene that'll explain everything. Yep, I'm sure everyone out there understands it, but let me explain just in case you didn't. Dr. Eggman, or uh, Dr. Robotnik, is working on something called the Death Egg 2. I guess to conquer the world, or destroy the world, or something. Sonic and Tails aren't too happy about this, and Tails is just like, uh, I guess we have to stop him, Sonic. Sonic then looks up at Tails' rocket ship and realizes that only a single person can go up there. And to do that, they have to power it with the... Eight... Chaos Emeralds. And how is it they determine who should go up there? Why am I fighting each other, of course? Dude, okay. Dr. Robotnik has built a Death Egg 2, and we need to stop him before he destroys the planet. Okay, we need the Chaos Emeralds, and I know that about eight people have them. For some reason, there's eight this time. So, we need the Chaos Emeralds to go up and stop him. Alright. Aside that there was only seven in existence, and you're pretty much the head of this whole series, so yes. what do you suggest we do? Let's fight for it. You're kidding me. No, come on, man. Let's go. A two-year-old kid could think of a more incompetent storyline than that. And second of all, I'm not to criticize your speed, but no, you're kind of turned down in this game, so I highly doubt you can. I can dish out anything you can give me. I'm not exactly sure what prevented Tails from building other seats or uh, some more rockets to let everyone go up there. But I guess they were saving the teamwork thing for Sonic Heroes. Well, time to do the arcade mode. Who am I going to select today? Let me go, uh, um, just letting you all know, my controller wasn't exactly in the best condition whenever I was recording this, so uh, if you see me mess up, that's part of the reason most of the time. Well, actually, uh, all the time, and the glitches, and you know, and the game cheats sometimes, and uh, and uh, you're full of crap. The eight standard characters you can choose from are Sonic, Tails, Bane, Jet Bean, Mark, Espio, Amy, and uh, Knuckles. Obviously, I'm going to be choosing Sonic because it's a Sonic game.
Knuckles' pride was almost completely destroyed that day, as he just stood there and let Sonic beat the living hell out of him. Whoa. I think I see why Knuckles is a bit dumber now. Okay, enough of that. Even though I can't really say the same about the graphics, the controls are actually pretty smooth. I mean, most of the time I was just pressing one button to win, but there's also other movesets that are actually pretty easy to learn. After defeating a character, you're rewarded with a Chaos Emerald. One of... eight. Oh, and don't expect there to be a random order of characters. It's always in the same order. First Knuckles, then Amy, then Bark, then Espio, then Tails, then Fang, then Bean, and then finally Sonic. And if you use the same characters who you're fighting, this happens. Which is pretty cool if you're using someone like Sonic because you're near the final fight. But when you use someone like Knuckles, it doesn't feel as special, considering you start out the game with a clone fight. Before I fight the others, I must fight myself. When you fight a certain character, they're in a certain stage. Which most of the time it makes sense, like fighting Knuckles on South Island, or fighting Bark in the Aurora Ice Field. But then there's some that just don't make that much sense, like Tails being on a cruise ship, and Amy being on a flying carpet. Wait, what? Spoilers. Oh, when Dan's about to get really pissed, you can't miss that. After defeating Sonic, you get the last Chaos Emerald. And then you get to watch this super long cutscene. Okay, maybe it wasn't as long as I thought it was. And then you fought Metal Sonic. Oh, and you know those games where the difficulty balance doesn't seem too well? Well, this is no exception. Metal Sonic is just way too hard. Wait, isn't that Tails' move? Ah! Ah, Metal Sonic! Again? No, 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 no! Ah. Come on, Sonic! What the? No, 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 no! Come on, ah, 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 ah. No. Watch out, watch out, damn it! Ah, oh, come on! Ooh, come on, Sonic, come on, you got it, you got it, you got it! You got it. What? You piece of shit! And if you can finally get past Metal Sonic, you've beaten the hardest part of the game. And then you have to escape the death at- what- what's going on now? Here we go! Super Sonic's about to happen! Um... Just little sparkly things. There is a way to go Super Sonic in this game, but I forgot how to do it when I was recording this, so I didn't use him. The difficulty for this fight can go either way. Either you can just keep punching and you won't hardly give Robotnik a chance, or vice versa. Unlike the other fights, in this one, you only get one round, and one chance. So whether or not you win or lose, it'll be over afterwards. And just like that, it's over. And then the credits roll. Oh, and you also get to watch all of your replays. You know, honestly, this game isn't as bad as I remembered it. I mean, there's definitely better options, but, you know, it's still worth checking out. If you want my suggestion, unless you really want to get the collection, I would suggest downloading this game on the PlayStation or Xbox. For one thing, they made the graphics slightly better and easier on the eyes. There's more customizable options. You get to use both Metal Sonic and Eggman in the multiplayer. Finding them is kind of weird. And Honey the Cat. Which you get a trophy or achievement for if you use her. And online and offline multiplayer. None of that online only bullcrap. And you get all this for only $5 on either system. That's basically like paying $5 to download the classic arcade game with unlimited continues. Oh yeah, and that's how Sonic was able to appear in Wreck-It Ralph storyline was.
In the end, though, when it comes to that game, you're better off buying it on the PS3 or the 360. Or still buy the collection for the other games. Yeah, other games. Get other games we could have played other than that one. Hey, no, wait a minute now. You told me to pick the game. I mean, I could have chose something worse like Sonic R, but uh, hey, what happened to luck in the game anyway? Yeah, the game that inspired me to do this. Yeah, don't ever do that. I don't know what he meant by Sonic the Fighters inspired him to do that. Wouldn't it be more like Mortal Kombat or Tekken? Sonic the Fighters gets 25 out of 50. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe. I'd also like to thank Corey Medley for being in the video. He's the uh, kind gentleman that I punched the blood and rings out of. Oh, and just in case you were wondering, don't worry, I didn't actually punch him. That was all special effects, I didn't actually punch the rings and blood out of him. Hey, wait a minute, how can you never thank me in these videos? Your name is in the title, Git. You're one of the main characters. Oh yeah. Well, still. And a special thanks to you two, Git, for being in the video. Well, I took time off from my busy schedule, but I was glad to be here. Ugh. <sighs>